Hello everyone, welcome back to Thimbleweed Park, of course, part four, gonna crack on. I say part four, even though the last part was part two, uh, it's because when the stream shut down and then I restarted, I just split it up two and three, so we're on part four. Um, and we, we, I still have no idea what I'm doing. I know that we need to get the freaking uh, stamp off of this. I'm presuming that we have to get it off of this one um, and onto our one. I don't want to pull the stamps off. They might rip. Is that audio coming through for me? Hold on. I don't want to pull the stamps off. They might rip. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Thought my headphones were not working then, but they are. Awesome. So yeah, we have a glass of ink. We have the bottle of ink. Um, I don't know how we're gonna use either of them. It's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get it. Um. So yeah, not not entirely sure what how we're going about doing this. I mean, we could put the glass in the microwave. I remember we doing it. We not, I remember we did that. I've no idea why we're. Oh, maybe. Maybe, 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 because we can create the moisture. Ouch! The letter's hot, but I need steam to get the stamps off. I don't want to pull the stamps off. They might rip. Okay, so we still need steam. I don't feel like the taste for a non-trained bark infringing poopsie now. I don't... Um, because we have the ink, I can imagine the same if we fill it with water, but that's it. We, we can't actually use the glass anymore. Unless we can just pour it down the sink. I don't know, uh, but I think we are definitely onto something there. I'll just pour this ink out. Okay, awesome. The glass is now filled with water. All right, we're good. And then we put both of them in the microwave. That will give us the steam that we need. All right, close and use. And we should be good to go. Awesome. My letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. Alright. So, let's check our to-do list. And I would just like to reiterate as well, I'm not using any guides or walkthroughs or help or anything. I'm doing this completely blind. It is just the, the fact that my brain works in the way that I'll leave something overnight or leave it for a couple of days, come back to it, and I'll be able to get something instantly. It is just the way I am. But I, I, I assure you, I am not using any guides, walkthroughs, or anything. What do we need? We need to mail it, and then we need to get the job, and then we need to leave this place. Oh, come on. I guess that we should probably actually give this letter to Uncle Chuck. Considering that it is his. Oh fuck, what do I do? Game? Okay. It doesn't work with that. Can we just uh, put it down? What did I do? I think I've used... Oh, okay, we'll just give it... 
Should be fine. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? Yes, Maybe. but I thought you should hold on to it. Good idea, Dolores. And thank you for saving me the trouble of unsealing it. You know how much I hate opening mail. <laughs> sure. Well, shit, if it was unsealed completely, then couldn't we have read it? Ah, damn it. Oh, well. Anyway, let's move on. If we can post the letter, I'm not sure where we're going to do that. Let's put it in there. I don't know. Digging. How exciting! I hope I get the job. Awesome progress. Five days later, at around five p.m. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh. Good luck. See ya. Diggin. 5 p.m. What for? Diggin. Postman arrives at 5 p.m. Jesus. Diggin in the front green. I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. All right. Diggin in the front green with my rusty shovel. Oh, Doug. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. He's okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Flem to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Then comes the awkward moment when someone walks in on you. Awesome. Can we actually look? I at can't it? wait to tell Uncle Chuck no. about my job offer. He'll be so proud. That's fine. Uncle Chuck! Hello, my favorite niece! Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. You're what?! You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be a... to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillotronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. <laughs> Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me! Oh shit. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. All right. Progress obtained. What's that? Uh, go talk to Dolores. Anything else along here? 
That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. I can't open that. I don't want to pick that up. There's no path beyond this point. It just right. looks like unfinished temp part from a cut room. All right, let's head back into town because I know there was another alley. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Oh shit. Fuck. Okie Well, I guess we're just down to one person now. The A Street. Uh, uh, yeah. I can't. Get, I can't get past uh, that water. Fine. I mean, you can. You just don't want to. This was the alley, wasn't it? Yeah. It's locked. It's an empty box. Pretty disgusting. Definitely Reyes's notebook. Tempting. But no, I won't bore myself. Um, all right. I never actually came in here, did I? Oh, right, okay. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Flashback. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. So, put on clown nose, get my beeping trick back, get my clown fro looking beeping great, apply my beeping awesome clown makeup, go on stage and insult the, go on stage and insult the beep out of those idiots. Yes, my life is amazing and you for being jealous. Okay, so we got the door, microwave, refrigerator, faucet. Notes in the card, a poster, clown nose there, our bed. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. Well, what? I'm sorry, what kind of room are we in? 
My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. My circus poster, featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. It's an IOU. I, it's an IOU. Ransom the Clown lost $1,000 to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. All right, so we know where our joke book is. What the hell is this? The number of flags over the big top main opening. The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. Hmm. The number of flags over the big top main opening. The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. It's my lawyer's business card. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Okay. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen, and your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. <laughs> Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You. I like this clown. All right, what have we got? We can walk to trailer door, trailer, or whatever's down here. It's like brown. Yeah, let's go this way first. I oh, thought it just takes me up there. All right. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Trailers, backstage entrance. Well, you. Well, you. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. What have we got? Go to the big top entrance. Is that Doug? It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Just shoot like a man or a little guy. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? 1,000 clams or you're not getting your joke book back. It serves you right for playing the duckies. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 11 kids. Oh, but they still the cries shit. themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. How many kids do you say you have? I have 11 kids. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting the squeeze on me. Not my problem. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the asswipe clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. Huh. Where the f is my joke book? 
I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand right, bucks. Show me for the ducky. Plus, skip, one hundred thirty-eight dollars in interest. No, we'll just sit here. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. One hundred thirty-eight bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, ransom the asswipe clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. All right. Get him out of here. Let's see, um. Get one from uh. Okay. Yeah, okay. shoot the pussy cat. No. Uh, I can't okay. walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the... I can't open that. We're getting there. Where jar? The stage door. Take a look at the It's by jar. Ransom the Clown Swear Jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. Well, there's the 138 sorted. I'll just take the big bucks. I don't wear hats. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. Uh, we'll do goddamn makeup. As opposed to regular makeup. Now there's the face I love. I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. Well, I don't have my joke book, so. Uh, can we look at the list? There's some swearing coaches. It's the list of all the who swore here at the circus. I'm the only who can swear. All the rest have to pay up. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to claw. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might. All right, so we still need to get the money. And also, the other guy, he mentioned a safe that I'm completely unaware of. I don't know if he was joking or... Oh, he opened the cup. Unless... Hmm... Possibly... Uh, I'm thinking maybe the tilt of the... The carriage actually has something to do with it. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. Empty, but clean. Nothing inside. I only use it for popcorn anyway. The crap they sell here will keep you in the bathroom forever. Hmm. I glued him to the table so no one can steal him. <laughs> sure, okay. What am I? Hmm. The number of flags over the big top main opening. The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. I don't know if this will make any difference. He doesn't want it. Come on over! Oh! So you decided to pay up! Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Uh, wait, are you messing with me? 
That's only 138 bucks in interest. With the grand you owe me. Yeah, thought you'd settle for less. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I gets the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Damn it. Yeah, shoot the pussycat. Okay. I don't want to pick that up. No, I didn't want to pick it up. Go f yourself. <laughs> Grandson, you f idiot! Why did you push me? Oh! Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! <laughs> Ransom, you jerk! I think my stilts are broken! I think my stilts are broken! Ransom, you jerk! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! I think my stilts are broken! I think my stilts are broken! I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! I, I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act! I can't get up! I think my stilts are broken! Ransom, you're a total... Ransom, you're a total... Awesome. Uh, is there something that I'm missing, or... In here... No. In the main entrance... Which we can't go into. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. And this would literally Win a fine leather jacket. Down here. There's got to be something in our trailer. Hi. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Except now, it's missing its nose. He's happy where he is, aren't you, little Ransom? No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. I know, but I also need to somehow find a thousand dollars somewhere. I'm trying to think where. It's my special custom-made clown ma This goop keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Hmm. No time for food. I have to get on stage. I already used some. My hair looks... I've already applied my goddamn makeup, you moron. I won't need any more until tomorrow night. All right, all right. Still. No time for food. I have to get on stage. It came off the wall. Ah, okay. Uh, Let's see if I can remember this combination. I think I know. I think it's the four flags, the two butt cheeks, and then the eleven kids. Okay, now. And finally. Next time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. 
It's exactly $1,138 in unmarked... Awesome. Grab some, you're a total... Yeah, they're the full flags. Shoot the bunny! Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, Clowny. You're scaring the customers. Win big today. It's of my joke box. No spoilers here. You f***ing All right. God damn. I can't... Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the f***ing insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do... It's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. Also, just in the back there, we got the tentacle. There, the tentacle. Uh, Dolores there. I'm presuming that is Dolores. Uh, we got... What's it? I forget the guy's name. Dolores' dad. Mister. Check it through. Is that meant to be Guybrush? That one there? Guybrush Threepwood? Probably a bunch of others which I'm supposed to recognize, but don't. We got the pigeon lady. The scientist from... I want to say Maniac Mansion, I believe. Yeah, anyway. Snob, you have to accept the chuck guy. What's the deal with control machines? You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The low IQ, the weird speech patterns, the same ugly face. If that ain't just one weirdo, somebody definitely their sister. <laughs> he gotta go with this. Hey you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey, you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. <laughs> And she's crying now. Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, Pretty in true. his dressing room, there wasn't gonna be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. What the f This makeup isn't coming off! Yeah, old lady! 
lady! You off the you. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old... My lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, gritty little... Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you... Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Awesome. All right, can we speak to this guy? No. Looks awful. Not like the New York dogs I'm used to. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. The feds are watching us. Jacobus. Okay. Hmm. I haven't seen Reyes for a while. Wonder what happened. Okay, cool. Well, I mean... Yeah. I might just come here for the end of the stream, just as the nice outro music. So, I mean, last night I used this one. Oh. We can... Sp uh. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Okay, cool. My thought at the moment is he's going to be down potentially in the sewers somewhere. All right, let's continue with Reyes. Looks like this valve has been welded into position forever. I can't turn it. An arm extended in friendship or supplication? Hmm, huh. hard to tell. It's made of plastic. No murder here. Hey, that little arrow comes up. It kind of implies that there's more in that direction, but I guess not. The only thing I'd get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. The only thing I'd get from poking around these right. boxes is All a right. case of sneezes. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. We call Sebastian someone. Looks like someone knew I was gonna get stuck down here. Unless... My kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. Sebastian Hahn, maybe? It needs a dime to work. Well, I don't have a dime. I'd say that leads somewhere I don't want to go. The only reason to pick up a manhole cover is to go down This valve has also been welded into position. I'm sure there's something... speck of dust. It's a speck of dust. 
Sure. That grate won't come off. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. It's an empty whiskey bottle. It's my speck of dust. Oh. All right. Sure. <laughs> Another uh, speck of dust here. It's my specks of dust. An empty coin return slot. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Right. Dead ringer for the body. Oh. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. This has fingerprints for The only thing I'd get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. It's made of plastic. No murder here. It's made of plastic. No murder here. It's a tunnel. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. I can't turn this one either. I can't budge it. I can't budge it. I can't budge it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, no thanks. I don't want to pick that up. I can't budge it. I can't budge it. I can't budge it. It's a ton. It's already pushed into place. I can't push it further. I'm looking for an escape route, but I'm looking to go up, not down. All right. It needs a dime to work. It only works on the room doors in the hotel. Hmm, there's no film in the camera. I'm not. It's my specs. Detective Antonio Reyes, Jr. I'm not showing my badge here. An empty coin return slot. Cemetery was useless.
It's covered by the underbrush. But it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. The, tra the trail ends here at this huge rock wall. I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. All right. There's nothing up ahead but road. The town's in the other direction. Gonna be anything useful in here, I don't think. We interrupt our hostile takeover non stop music with this important message The feds are watching us. Make no mistake about it. The only way to protect yourself is to fight back. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Interesting. They're advertising to fight back against us. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? I what I was well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. All we right. could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. OK, so right, we'll head to the shop and see if they have anything. Not that we can pay for it. Was it down here or was it? Yes. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi! Welcome to Ricky's Tube Tastic. I'm looking for a tube for a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here, over 3,000 different okay, makes WC and models. 67. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. Awesome, let's go. And that should then give us access to that small street. Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. Okay then. Mm. Cutscene. I don't know. The 
hitchin' for slicker love and awesome ribs. Nickel news. Um, it's a map of the Trithumbly Park County area. Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please don't touch. Thank you. It's a color copy Tron 3000. Color copy Tron 3000. For all your copying needs. Copies, five cents each. All right, what else is there? Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Uh, we have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second, that's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. Yeah, they were all out because the sheriff stole them all. Can I, as a private citizen, please have your map? Nope, it's a priceless original. Right. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? You. You? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. Okay. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. I don't know what any of the amendments are. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? Not a chance. Don't you mean the Fourteenth Amendment? No. That defines citizenship contains the Privileges or Immunities Clause, the Due Process Clause, and the Equal Protection Clause. All of which mean nothing to me. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman on the road and a possible car accident. Does she mean me? Like, as a legitimate question, she might. Gutenberg would be proud. Hmm. All right, let's carry on down the road. Well, we'll look at the advertisement board first. Probably stream only for about another five minutes and then stop there. I can't open that. I didn't want to open it. It's full of articles. Some of them look quite old. Wanted. Booze donations. Help out old Willie with a contribution straight to his liver. Come find me by the burning trash can near Occult Books. Stupendous Brothers Traveling Circus. Headline Act. Ransom the Insult Clown. Miners must be accompanied by an adult. And if you're offended, it's your own beeping fault. Roses are red. Pillows are white. Get our special bundle and stay up all night. $50 Valentine's special at Fancy Nancy Flowers, sponsored by Pillowtronics. Huh. Oh, I there are quite a few on there. Yeah, we'll look at all of them. Get your geek on to the max at ThimbleCon 87. A totally radical convention with all your favorite sci-fi shows, comic books, and the latest computer and video game technology. Listen to our sponsor, KSCUM 198.7 FM, for your chance to win tickets. Key ceremony at City Hall. 
Come and watch beloved entrepreneur Reno Chuck Edmond receive the key to the town for his contributions to the local economy. Complimentary shrimp buffet for attendees at the Edmond Hotel after the ceremony. Playtime is over at the Park Arcade. Blast bad guys in a tournament of our latest game, Die, Enemy, Die. Highest score gets free tokens all night. Wanted, like booze donations. Yeah, like Help yeah. out old Willie with a contribution straight to his liver. Come find, turn your dials to KSCUM 198.7 FM for the gnarliest hits from local artists. DJ Cassie says, I hope you like Tuna Head. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Dad wanted sons, but he got daughters. So let us fix your leaking waters with our latest Wrenchtron 3000 technology. We can fix paranormal emergencies, possibly. Bust on down to the bakery, cause Ricky's Cakes is going out of business. The hotcakes are not as popular as we expected, so we're selling in bulk. 50% discount on thimbleberry pie when you grab one of Ricky's sticky buns. Stupendous Brothers Traveling Circus. Headline act, R Razor and the Scumettes playing live at the Hitchin Post. Support by GT and the suction cups. Mechanical bull rides free all night. Roses are red, pillows are white. Get our, your sheriff wants you to be clean and green of Reno. Don't litter on the highway or vandalize the storefronts. You should also wear better clothes. Paid for by the Lenore Edmund Mulch Beautification of Thimbleweed Park Project. All right, and last one. Safely first savings. Where saving safely is saving smartly. Please note that homeless people and tentacle creatures are not eligible for small business loans. Fair enough. All boarded up and I can't see anything. I don't know why. Laser discs are the future. Totally boarded up. Nothing to see here. Hey, if you see a dime, it's mine. We'll just take it bit by bit. It's a postal scale. It's it's a sticky tape dispenser. It says for government use only. Violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Did I use it? That doesn't seem to work. Huh. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. I'm in the middle of sorting. How can I help? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the vets. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Uh-huh. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Get it? Ugh, that's terrible. I, I think, I think my response would have been better. <laughs> Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. All right. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. I would assume you knew that, being a federal employee and all. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. Don't leave town. I have eyes on you. I'll be right there. Too much sorting to do. 
All right. It's a slot for mail. Not much else to see. Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box, and we promise not to peek inside your mail. Oh, that's nice to know. They're boxes waiting to be shipped or picked up, but not by anyone in this game. Huh. Okay, so we're done in there, and I'm gonna call it. I'm not gonna go back to the diner because I have to go all the way back to the main street and then go all the way down, and yeah, it's too much of a walk, really. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching me for part four of the Bullweed Park. I need and to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Here's your nice outro music. I'm gonna love you and leave you, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you for joining me.